Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I create magical, nerdy and weird things. Uh, and today we're gonna go through one of my sketchbooks. This one is the last one that I finished in November last year. So November 20... 20... Yeah, when was that? Oh my god, we are not 2024 now. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is more of like a catch-all sketchbook. I have a few different sketchbooks. One is exclusively for watercolors, one is for world building, uh, then I have one for inks or just like collections of drawing and the same thing that I want to turn into stickers or something. So it's like a project sketchbook or, and this one is the one that was my primary sketchbook where I glued in some templates and some examples that I worked on for clients uh, and the sketchbook in which I did some Inktober drawings or in this case Arttober because it was hosted by uh, my local art shop so it was called Arttober and there is also some uh, exercises that I draw, that I made in this sketchbook. So uh, it is kind of beaten up. <laughs> uh, and it is from Talents Art Creation sketchbook. Uh, it's a spir spiral bound 80 sheets. I mean, after this sketchbook, uh, I switched to their hardcover sketchbook. Uh, and I will see how that that works. I'm currently using one for my project sketchbook and for my world building sketchbook. And when I finish those, I'm gonna tell you more how I, uh, what I think about it. So of course I put some stickers on on my sketchbook. I started putting stickers on my sketchbooks when I was studying because. Uh, Sometimes sketchbooks went conveniently uh, disappear, so uh, yeah, I'm just putting random stickers that so that I know that the sketchbook is mine. I mean, I'm not studying anymore. I rarely give my sketchbook to somebody <coughs> or borrow it or something. So yeah, some L Lego stickers. I guess why not? So the first page. Its signature. Uh, I I started it in September of 2021, and finished it in November last year. So um, yeah, I had this sketchbook a long time, and a random leaf <coughs> that I taped in. I'm also losing my voice for some reason. So the first few pages are watercolor, mostly watercolor paintings of different flowers. I use them to make cover pages for custom journals that they made. I think I w it is already two years ago. Uh, I'm gonna link the video. I think I already made video about it. Otherwise, I'm gonna link it when when it will be up. Uh, if it's not already, then it should be on my second channel. Uh, the quick flip through to custom planner. So yeah, I painted a bunch of different plants. I already wrote names of the plants. This one I think is a mix of watercolors and color pencils and some marker, I think. And this one is a mixture of watercolors and I think it was a liquid, liquid graphite, but I'm not sure. Some of the cover pages then looked like this. Uh, this is a shitty print because I scanned all of them, made some quick edits and then printed them out. And I think that this was made on the laser printer, on the, my previous printer. So uh, <laughs> it is not a detailed print. Then I used a piece of tissue paper and stamped in the name of the month. So yeah, that, that's an example of a cover page. Even more plants. I think this one was made with markers and watercolors. 
This one is certainly made with markers and watercolors. Like, I am really struggling with, uh, with flower petals when there is a flower with a bunch of petals. And yeah, uh, there, there is something that I need to practice more. Okay, this is my monster series that I wanted to make. I think now I'm painted Leshy, Kelpie and Windigo. So I just like have three of twelve painting done. Paintings done. Uh, it's getting there slowly. <laughs> Definitely not gonna need five years to finish it. So this one is a painting of Kelpie. It's like a black horse bursting out of water. It's not my favorite one. I'm probably gonna redo it, but I mean, it's it's still not bad. And there are some test prints. Uh, of this is a lesson, the painting in previous sketchbook, I think. Uh, and some painting of a mushroom. Uh, these are printed on a, on a paper for playing cards. And it is vexed paper, so inkjet printer did not work as well as I thought it would be. So yeah, those are some failed prints. Uh, you will also see a lot of bad and weird illustrations because, I mean, it's a practice sketchbook, it is, it is something. I mean, you cannot have your perfect sketchbook. So this is a picture of my cat. Uh, she always sleeps in like a different cat yoga positions and then just like a quick illustration with some colored pencils and a gel pen, I think, that was a white gel pen. Uh, I don't know if I should cover some of these. These are some samples of, uh, of labels that I designed and printed for a local business. Uh, there was a test for his cuts, of, for his cut stickers. Uh, and there are some I, I don't think it's <laughs> visible. Uh, there are some notes on settings for my Silhouette machine. I bought myself a Silhouette machine last year and I think that was one of the best decisions ever. It was not cheap, but I'm using it like practically every week and I'm not a full-time artist, so that, that says something. And there is a sticker that my neighbor made. <laughs> that was just a test of some uh, painting ideas that was just like a, not really a thumbnail because it is huge, but I put down some colored pencils, a lot of charcoal and some watercolors. I was just testing composition and something for a bigger painting that I did not make yet. This is some more of a, just like a junk journal page, art journaling type of thing more leaves, uh, some sticker washi tape that I made almost two years ago or already three. I think there is a there is a video on my channel of me making it. And these two, this and this washi tapes, they're they beautiful washi tapes, are from Anka. I'm gonna link her channel and her shop in the description. You should check her out there. She, she's making amazing art. She's also an amazing tattoo artist. Oh, here is the painting for Vindigo, like eating a piece of something. It's not perfect, but uh, hey, it's not bad. I think it's more than a year ago that I painted this, so I should probably just redo it to see if I learned something easier. So these are some prompts for October. Called Tarotober because there were prompts from tarot cards. Uh -huh, these are some paintings for Arctober. Oh, there's even more plant paintings because <laughs> why not? 
Uh, these are some exercises with some markers. There's some like photos that I printed off Pinterest. I will probably link my Pinterest down in the description to show you which photos I have as a reference for, uh, for uh, drawing or painting. And I was just test testing out some markers. And this is a swatch card that I made for my previous watercolor palette. It is now much bigger. <laughs> and I need to make a new one. Okay, these are some more exercises. More art over. This is a prompt. I think it was a mad cleric or something. Uh, these were some tests for a printing or for a block print that I wanted to make for a dye bag. Playing dye. This is also just some quick sketch. I'm still not confident confident on painting people and drawing people. Uh, I struggle a lot with some proportions and anatomy. So this one was made on first on tracing paper and then I just trace it traced it in the sketchbook. I'm not sure why I didn't just tape the tracing paper in, but yeah, that was this. Uh, these are some thumbnails for a comic that I still need to paint. I think I have like this and this thumbnails that I already painted in a big format and I still need to <laughs> finish all other. These are some ideas for icons that I was commissioned to do. Another Artober painting. There are some ideas that I got from internet about what to put into your sketchbook or in your junk journals. And these are some brain dumping for a project that the end I did not make. I was just making ideas for costumes. I know that this costume I have fully finished, except of the headgear. And this one is fully finished. I did not finish others. Here, more of Artober. I like this little, this little mushroom guy. And this is already for Christmas, so you can see that I was painting for October in October and then I completely missed November and now it's just like a December already. So I was trying to make some galaxy paintings that uh, did not go well, but uh, I mean, I guess. I think I tried to finish all the prompts from October. These are also some business cards that I made that I'm probably blurring out. I have the same painting twice. I think I wanted to repaint this one. I bought some new watercolors and I swatched them out. These are Dale Rowney Aquafine watercolors. I got titanium white and Chinese white in this pack and Purple Lake and Quanacodon Magenta. I hope I pronounced this right. I always want to swatch watercolors out when I bought them. These are also some thumbnails for paintings. It's like Christmas inspired. Okay, these are, these are really messy swatches of soft pastels. I did not put any fixative on them. That was my first time using soft pastels. And I just made swatches and, and they are smearing everywhere. More tiny little guys on October sketches. More swatches of Rosa, Rosa, Rosa watercolors. This, I think it was my first full pan of this brand and I love their browns and greens. Since then I bought three, I think there were three more. Uh, and all of them were brown or green and I loved every single one of them. And some Copic fine liner uh, swatches. Yeah, I have it here. Uh, Multi-liner, it's not fine liner. I love these fine liners because I can take the nib out and then replace it. And instead of tossing the whole pan out, I can just take this out and refill them. So I love that. I think these are the only refillable multi-liners that I can get in my country. These are also some tests of my stamp that I made. Some more brainstorming for a costume. Ah, this is a sketch for a sign on a fence. Don't feed animals, your kindness can kill, because farm next to me have alpacas and people like, like to feed animals, which is understandable, but alpacas are really sensitive to different foods, so 
yeah, that it can be dangerous. So, oh, that is the green one. This green is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it is called chromium oxide. So it is a really, really beautiful green. There are some thumbnailing, some sketches, some practice. Oh, and this is the. Uh, these B labels were not designed by me, and then I printed them on vinyl and laminated them. So he labeled brushes for his horses. So, yeah, these are the horses and some horse sketches. I still have no clue how to paint horses. Oh, this one was my first uh, laminated vinyl sticker that I put on a cup. And then I put this cup in a dishwasher and yeah, it survived. So that was a miracle. This is a sketch with some really cheap markers that I bought last year and some ballpoint pen. Uh, these are some ideas for Catan pieces. I still need to make the third part of my Catan series and I need to paint all of the C pieces. Here, more of the ideas for labels for local business. There is a lot of stuff that needs to be put on the, the tiny little labels. And also you need to check your local regulations for food labeling. So yeah, that, that was fun. Uh, also some ideas how to print directly on the bags. This bag got just squished and smushed into my printer and I needed a whole hour to get it out. So yeah, printing directly to a print, uh, to a bag was not a good idea. Even more of the labels. Uh, here is the... Oh yeah, I also turned this one upside down because I was... Uh, I think I was just painting like this and did not notice how I was holding the sketchbook, so I turned it upside down. Uh, this one... Th this is some planning for that Catan project that I made. Uh, some washi tape swatches that I bought. Uh, there was this beautiful washi tape with a veil on it and it was in a pack with all of this so obviously I love the whale one and the jellyfish one and also these two are not bad but I don't know what to do with mermaid maybe I'm just gonna gift it to, to, to a neighbor, neighborhood kid this is a swatch of a liquid graphite and these are different aquarelle pencils like a graphite pencil but they're water soluble so yeah that that was something new that i found a random exploration oh these are some paintings that i made while playing dnd i'm playing a blighted druid that is like obsessed with mushrooms so are you surprised probably not and this is a sketch of my friends playing wingspan i think we, we were just counting our points when I snapped a picture with my phone and then then draw it with pencil and a marker I think the the gray one is marker oh yeah that's my blighted sapling as a blighted druid I can get a blighted sapling which is basically a tree that smacks people guess why I'm playing it yeah these are some some more label ideas uh, I went through a bunch of revisions I have a bunch of old labels that did not did not know what to do with them so I'm just so I just stick them through the whole page, uh, went over them with uh, transparent acrylic paint and just painted a jar of gem because there were uh, labels for gems. <laughs> These are more swatches. These are swatches from, I don't think it's called a swatch, but I tested some stamps that I got. And these are paints uh, for glass. These are glass paints. I'm not sure if these are the ones that can bake in the oven to be like uh, dishwasher safe or not. Because I have a set of paints that need to be baked and I have a set of paints that are just like as dry and they're okay. So I'm not sure which of these paints are that are these. I think they are the ones that just uh, that just need to be air dried, because I don't have gold in the set of the ones that need to be baked. So I'm just gonna go with the idea that this is the set of paints that needs to be air dried. More labels. Oh, this is a idea for a page in my planner. And this is a sketch of a painting that I did on a window. I'm gonna link the video. It was fun to make. Uh, this is for a window in my new bedroom. These are some notes for a product photography. Sometimes I found a video on YouTube that uh, I really like and I know that they have some points that I'm gonna probably need to reference in the future, so I'll just like write them down. More watercolor swatches old stickers uh, and some tiny paintings that I made that I later used 
in uh, labels like this. Oh, this is a this is an idea for a tiny drawing that I made on a plaster cast. So the neighbor's kid broke her hand, not hand, like arm. She broke like bone in here, and she got a plaster cast. And the first thing she did was, "Hey, will you paint on it a horse, please?" <laughs> so yeah. I drew a horse, then uh, trace it to a transfer paper, then transfer it to her blaster cast, and I painted it with acrylics. Uh, and after her bone healed, she asked the doctor if he can sew a cast off so she can keep the, the painted piece. More ideas for my planner, and some more labels. Uh, these are thumbnails for a video that I was doing. It's like Minecraft inspired. I was never really confident in putting shaders and mods in Minecraft and because I needed to change some stuff for the video, I was spending the whole week just trying to find the correct mod for Minecraft. So yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Here are the swatches from Anka. Beautiful mushrooms and little greenhouses. This is some brainstorming for a project that I started and never finished. I mean, I like the ideas for characters. There is an exercise for character design and I just... I did the research, I did some rough thumbnails and stuff, I just never fully designed characters. So I need to finish this one, because if nothing else, it could be a good, uh, good piece for, for a portfolio. Also, this is so tiny. But I, I love this little sketch of like the tiny guy with big glasses. There are some labels that I made for a friend for his collection of spices. And this is... there is also... I think this, is, this was a pretty popular video. I painted on glass bottle with glass paints that need to be baked. So I made some different... here are some different uh, ideas that I put down. Because that glass bottle was commissioned. So uh, I painted a few different versions, uh, showed them to a uh, customer and she chose, let me see, this one. Then I traced it to a tracing paper, traced it to a bottle and painted it. Another revision for this label. And some sketches of a dormouse, how we can draw a dormouse like in semi-realistic, more cartoonish style. These are some... Uh, I try to draw a dog, like a portrait of a dog, like straightforward facing, and I don't know how to paint his nose, so it does not look squished or just like weird, but yeah. I was watching a uh, neighbor's dog dragging a blanket on the middle of a front yard in a snowfall and I was drawing dogs at the same time. This is a quick sketch that I did with another ballpoint and graphite pencil of my cat and the mouse that lives in my house. These are some sketches for a painting that I did. There was... I painted a red panda sorcerer that's juggling, playing dice and some spell books for a friend for, for his birthday. And I did a watercolor painting and then I scanned the watercolor painting and I printed it on a t-shirt. Some more swatches. This is a quick sketch of my robot vacuum that is dragging around my shoe. These are some paintings of my friend's plants, house plants. Those are first two plants that he ever got and now I think he's got a, quite a collection. So yeah, this was made with markers and colored pencils. More swatches of charcoal. Oh yeah, that was also an idea for that uh, t-shirt. And the, the kid that broke her arm, uh, then she painted... Uh, she was here staying with me for few hours and she asked if she can paint something for me in my sketchbook so she painted my cat riding my pony and uh, eating uh, forget-me-nots so yeah that was cute for swatches I said that they have just like beautiful colors and those are some Van Gogh paints 
and I think this is the last page, yeah, this is the last page. Uh, I made some research on sigils and uh, Nordic rooms. I have a video in editing about carving rune stones. They are not stones, they were carved in wood that I made for my friend and a box for playing dice that, that had uh, some sigils on them. Uh, and I'm gonna talk about uh, the process of research in that videos, but uh, yeah, this is some brain dump for, for that project. Yeah, some, this, this, this is the art for one of the boxes and the other box. And that, then that's it. So that was all. Yeah, this, this is really a catch-all, messy sketchbook. A lot of practice, a lot of just brain dumping stuff in, writing and drawing notes that I'm gonna need later or something. So I thought I'm gonna show you just to maybe let the younger artists or uh, artists that just started to, to show that not all sketchbooks are really neat and collection of finished pieces. I hope you enjoyed the video, you can check my other stuff. I already said that I'm gonna link some other videos in the description, so feel free to check that. Otherwise, have happy, healthy and magical day. Bye!